City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. It always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. X, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us? Haven't seen before? Two-minute drill? Maybe different things like that? Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They'll be led out by a man who took that huge jump everyone had hoped for in year two. One of the game's brightest young stars, Trevor Lawrence. And you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him, he's used to it. He had the same type of expectations leaving high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him, Xavier, whatever team credit, he shouldered those expectations and he's doing everything in his power to follow through. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And he's taken down, but able 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Love this look to start the ball game. They empty the backfield right away. And that's going to put some early stress on both their offensive line and on the secondary. And here they get the completion and a quick first down. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Now a second, that one goes. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he still wasn't awake off a huge game. So he found where there was the most space he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now it's. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. On first and 10, it's ETN. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Another toe for ETN. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resist. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. ETM looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. He tried to break that plane, but couldn't get there, and that's going to leave him now at third and goal. Having trouble here from the one. Couldn't pass it in, couldn't run it in. Now what? I'm going to 
channel old school coaching now. We're just rolling up our sleeves. I'm yelling at my guys, go get it. You're the one yard. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne punching it in from a yard away. And the Jaguars are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the air. In so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Motion man right is Rice. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll be out right at the 35. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when a game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled them on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a, different a long story. night. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing in the game. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Pacheco gets it again on second down. One hand run! And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Back-to-back -back nice plays, yards that time, and a first down. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> and in for the Chiefs touchdown! Sky Moore, a 20-yard 
touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Great corner round there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kicks away. Get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for touchback. So, time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. Now Lawrence on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man covered it on that one? Force the incompletion? That'll allow him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw Lawrence. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll come up facing third and five. Lawrence will throw. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give them seven there on the first down carry. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 43, it's second and three. ETN once more. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll try the left side with ETN. Dancing, and I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 68 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. He's off to a great start here in this first quarter. It seems like this defense is probably going to have trouble containing him. I would agree with that. I love the observation. And here's the thing. Their game plan coming to fruition. You knew that they came in thinking that they could run it. And now they're proving that they can and doing it in a big way. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Two, oh match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. They go play action with Lawrence. All right, rifles one, and that's got her own 24 yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now we're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. OK, 
okay if I show my age a little bit, partner? Because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he worked. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. This will be caught downfield by Moore. A big play there for KC. 42 yards. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the game. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run here with Pacheco. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead. Defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with this. He finds more in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great player with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to... I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14-7. to So that drives by Moore, capping things off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. Guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Straight ahead, ETN. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Three. 
Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The Jets with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. ETN up the middle. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit. Drop shy of the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right house rush was in the league? It'll make a little jittery. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 26. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's got to leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield. On first down, Lawrence. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. Here's a give to ETN. Heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Play action. It's Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's just what you're hoping for when you dial up that play call. The run play action. Then they're just going to leak the tight end to the outside. You're hoping the man assigned to him commits to the run fake even just for a split second. For him now in the ball game. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. On second down, ETN wants more. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. On third down, Lawrence. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Patterson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. 
Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This fielded right at the goal line. But a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them. And the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep the game going here, partner. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Oh, and he's brought down. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mahomes now to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That turned into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he whipped it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Chiefs are able to widen their advantage. Cool to do it here in football, partner. No, I... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. 
So and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. And they had it right. E. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hit. On second down, Etienne once more. And he's brought down at the four after a gain of four. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. Here's Lawrence. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete well he came up with points in the first two possessions but looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive the defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit might have to go a little bit deeper into their play on fourth down on is logan cook to punt Kadarius tony deep for kc and take it right on the 30. a beautiful thing It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 34. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, Dake, there's no way they can stop us. Meanwhile, the home throw here complete to Kelsey. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 20 yards. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Again, it's Pacheco. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Out right and brought in by Moore. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is 33. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now Harrison Butko will try. From the right hand and even 50 yards. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10.
after the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. They'll start on the ground, ETN. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And with that run, he's already at 100 yards here before halftime. So if he sees the same kind of action in the second half, he could be on his way to a career game. Now Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. Lawrence. Caught right side, Davis. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Completions and that has him staring at a third and ten. Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From midfield now, Lawrence. Right back to Davis, it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Consecutive catches for him, that good for 11. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick and well and picked up the first down. Throwing down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarter from going back to him anytime he has open space. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. Okay, he will find Davis. That's complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. So here's a first and 10 now, downside to 20. It's a throw again is Lawrence. Got his man, it's caught! Touchdown, Jaguar! Gabriel Davis as the first half is winding down. And that's are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about fin whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Extra point try now for Patterson. He's got it, and it's 24-17. That time, a nine-play drive. And it is to Gabriel Davis. Yeah. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the... A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes. Threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on top. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolute times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. The run there on first down, going to get him five up to the 30. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Pacheco once again. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. They've got the lead early here in the quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been thrust his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. He finds his receipts in. Nine yards, and that leaves him short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, old reliable plays, because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. Ooh. And once again, leverage wins. The eye carrying the ball. From the 38 now, here's second down and two. Motion man right is Rice. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. 
This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And he will have the Chiefs first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And a short gain down to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. of jobs and anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles we just saw the linebacker make that play on third down it's Pacheco and he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22 five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. Brought to the ground by the linebacker, Foye Aluakon. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play... <laughs> Someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Gecko on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. to throw, it's Mahomes. And he's gonna be taken down, back around the 35-yard line. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. Brandon, what I remember most, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. That was bad me celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, right on target, and did it so, so well. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. But Gabe Davis and the offense getting the football back here. Defensively, they didn't have an answer last drive. They're going to have to do something here. Five catches alone on the previous series, the touchdown too. And you and I both know that defensive coordinators tell us all the time, we don't wait for halftime for adjustments, things of that nature, right? We adjust series to series. Well, I think sometimes you need to adjust play to play because that last series, he absolutely shredded them. I've got to send more people his way and make someone else beat me on it. Just three yards on the play, second down. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's a give to Bigsby. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front bring the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on out. Bigsby once more. Calling no gain there, and it 
leads to a fourth down. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring them down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries to the end zone for a touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. He's rushing for him now on 17 carries. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now here's Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Mahomes. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down at about nine to go. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Mahomes now to throw. Touchdown! Scott! 
Sky Moore from six yards away. And the Chiefs win in the final minute of the third. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive... It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a Pfizer, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. A give to ETN running right. Oh, what a move. And he's got it down to the 28. I would say that's what you call a whole lot for a little, huh? When you bust that move out of the bag, you hope for more than four yards, but hey, four is what he got. Ball on the two-yard line. Here's second down and seven. ETN once more. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. He's done his part sailing past the century mark on the ground with rushing yardage, but his team, a different story. Yeah, they're down big in this ball game, so sometimes you wonder to yourself how much of that is him with a great performance and how much of that is the defense just loosening up because they have a big lead. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt it. The red challenge flag making an appearance. Doug Peterson not liking what he saw there. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost them a timeout. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's second and ten.
A give running right, ETN. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis ETN. His second touchdown of the night. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. But Charles here trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. The ball back. Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. He stopped the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Out right and brought in by Moore. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Again, they'll throw with most. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. And he is brought down a gain of two, and it brings up second down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. 
And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. But normally you might say start running it. They've passed it with such success. I don't know. Maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Headed straight. It's Pacheco. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So far, this is third and eight. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. He is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. And now out come the Jags. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. Pick outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A good game there on first down. That run will get him seven up to the 32-yard line. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart. You're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because, and get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Looking downfield for Jones. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From midfield now, Lawrence. That's complete to Davis. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 33. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Lawrence to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. 
They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And it's third down. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first down, right back to ETN. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. On second down, a run with ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And here, down two scores, you've still got some time, but you've got to start thinking about preserving the clock when you can. And that's a nice job to secure the football, pick up the first down, and get out of bounds. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. The slot man in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and it's still to give up the middle. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Lawrence now off the bootleg. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jags have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, we're able to be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And running with power here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense set to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first. 
first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Tight end Irv Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have the Chiefs first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. That's taken in by Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 21. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it on him, and they pick up a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again to get forward and protect the ball. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Again, it's Pacheco. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. Butker's kick here is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So that one CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. And the Jaguars down by nine. 70 seconds remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and ten. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Second and six coming up. Throwing now, Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Now Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. A little less than 40 seconds remaining. Here comes second and 10. That's to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Lawrence. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Let's face it, this defense has had a share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Listen, when you're at this point of the game, all options are on the table. Fourth down, they say, we've got to go for it. And what a play they come up with. Big yardage there to keep the drive alive. A final shot now for Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles' defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, and neither end zone had a stop sign, and it did that. I mean, for both sides, visit it. Every frequency. Not going to be a defensive play on the offensive side of the ball. Those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Kansas City.